One of the key aspects of Power Beam is automation. I'm going to teach you live. In Beam 360, we can have multiple products and multiple models. When we load a model in Beam 360, this model is accessible in Power Beam in such a way that we can load and we can generate an automated report from the model's database. This report is generated from a template, and this template we search for certain attributes and parameters of the model, depending on what the user needs to see. And this automatic data visualization report can be configured, edited, can be downloaded for editing in the Power BI desktop editor, and we can generate as many reports as we want for the models. This report is bidirectional and is interactive with the model in such a way that we can filter, in this case, by levels or by categories of the model or by any type of component that we have. We can export this data if we have a visualization in table format to Excel, and this serves as the basis for multiple other functions that we have in Power Beam. For example, if we want to make a specific visualization to classify the model by levels, we can generate a group called levels create as many groups as we want of multiple elements and not one by one. This is one of the great advantages and assign them to the group panel. We can create as many as we want based on the filters. We can do it from the Power BI or manually. We are going to make one more group. And one of the things that we can do quite interesting is to be able to assign colors to these groups. Well, in order to have a more comprehensive visualization of this topic, in this case, is to visualize the model in a clear way by levels. Another of the outstanding functionalities that we have in Power Beam is the link with systems and IoT for real-time data to be able to visualize the data in real or historical time and to be able to act on devices. In this basic example, we are going to select an area, in this case, two wind turbines. We have to pick at one point, select a system in which we can create as many systems as we want. In this case, we have a windmill we can generate some KPIs, and a virtual element will be assigned to a real device that we should have previously installed in the IoT Hub. In this case, we use Microsoft Azure. 